Hello, welcome to another edition of The Motions Expert. I'm John Rushton. Have you ever been in a situation where you don't fit in, where things are not going too well in life, or you've applied for a job and it's not what you've thought, or something of that nature, or you've gone somewhere with friends and it's dull and boring and you feel like something that's a fish out of water. Well, that's not an uncommon feeling. And really, it's a case of your own skills and professionalism making the best of it whilst you have to do. If there's no good getting morose and upset and start whinging and <sighs> big sighs and things like that, it's not going to change anything. All you're doing is adding gravitas to the situation, making it worse and making yourself feel worse too. One of the things you need to do is accept that this is the way it is and look for the positive aspects within it. There may be only a very few because you could be completely out of, out of your depth with who is who and what's what and the circumstances around you. But at the same token, all you need to do is to change your mentality, change the way you think, change the way you look at things, because that's how your mind works. If you look at things the way you think and feel and you let your emotions overtake you, then you're always going to be at the mercy of whatever the situation is at the time. It could be good if you're happy, you could be bubbly and vibrant and everything else. But if it's not, then you're always going to be somewhat morose or a little bit below par. And you can change that because it's only your mind which has caused it. You've allowed things to go that way, to change things, to make yourself not feel as you should. It may be a little harder to look on the bright side when things are not all that fine and marvellous and wonderful. And you could be a little cold and a little hungry as well. And you could think, oh, I could fancy a drink at this time or something of that nature just to boost yourself up. But if those are not available, then you have everything you need within your mind to change that. You have everything you need in your mind if you're going for a new job to get it. You have to play whatever you have to play to make the grade. It may be against what you think and you feel, but then again, you're not playing with yourself. You're playing against other people who think differently, who feel differently, who see things differently. And if you want to stand by on your own and think, well, I don't care what they think and feel and see and talk about, I'm sticking to what I'm doing, that's fine. But then you're always going to be that proverbial fish out of water and you'll become a dull, boring, miserable person if you aren't already. What you have to think about in certain circumstances is what am I doing here and why? And if it's a negative answer, you've got to think, okay, so did I get it wrong? Or was it something which went wrong en route to from where I was to where I am now? Or any, any of those things, or lots and lots of different permutations. You've got to seek the answers to those because those lie within your own mind. You can see the answers, you know what's what, who's who, where, you know, are you with the right people? Um, did Should you not accept it in the first place? But the fact is you have accepted and you are here now. So you have to make the best of it. It costs you nothing to smile. Even if other people don't smile, that's no, no excuse for you not to smile. Because so many people play tit for tat. Well, they didn't smile at me, so I didn't smile at them. Well, they didn't offer me anything, so I didn't offer them anything. And if you're going to play like the village idiot, then fine. The vill village idiot is what you will turn out to be. You've got to make a, a progression from where you were to where you would like to be on a slightly higher level. And if you've got to make the first moves and shake hands and smile and say hello, even if deep down your heart is fluttering away really fast and you think, oh no, I wish I wasn't here, I should have been somewhere else. And all of these kind of things muttering to yourself, it doesn't matter, you've got to do it. If you want to stay in the game, you've got to play the game. If you want to stick at the side and never be asked again or go anywhere because you're frightened, you'll get fearful. If you do don't make any effort, you will subliminally become frightened and you'll become frightened to go to even places on your own, which you would like 
because you'll be fearful of what may happen or what things may transpire which you don't like. The more you do for yourself, the more self-confidence you will have, the more upliftment you will have, and the more other people will see that wonderful sort of effervescence of yourself bubbling through, they will pick that out. They will look and they will see, and people sublimely can pick these things up, even just from a little wry smile. They will understand that there's something warm and marvellous there, and they're not going to be rebuffed. And that's why a lot of people don't like to talk to other people. They're frightened to be shown up or rebuffed or whatever it may be. Don't get into that situation either. And if somebody sort of tends to ignore you or just smiles and, ah, and moves on, fine. That's all about them. It's nothing to do with you. How other people treat you is about them. And it's about their either their ability to treat people well or their inability to treat people well. And it's about their negativity predominantly if they can't do anything. So don't get upset if you are rebuked or rebuffed or whatever, because it's just about other people getting coming to terms with themselves and getting to grips with everything around them also. And some people, even those who have got sort of a quite sort of strong character, can get frightened in certain circumstances because they are also like a fish out of water and they don't want to show themselves up or make them feel themselves feel stupid or belittled or anything else. These things happen, but to be quite honest, most people are understanding if any of this happens because they can picture themselves in the self-same situation. So don't become sort of aggressive towards yourself and angry and upset. When you do get into a place where you feel like a fish out of water or you don't fit in, just think to yourself very quickly, what do I have to do? And push yourself, because you will have to push yourself, and do what you want to do. And as I say, if you make a few mistakes or it doesn't work, just carry on doing, because all of a sudden it will click and everything will change for the better.